you can chart the path a gunman took by the bullet holes that have scarred the walls and windows of this small Alabama town. This is the worst thing that's ever happened. I've been here 30 years. This is the worst thing that's ever happened in this community. Uh, the worst. In all, Michael McClendon killed 10 people before turning a gun on himself here at a factory where he once worked. The violence began at his mother's house. He killed her and set the home ablaze. A gas can still sits in the yard. From there, he drove to this home, owned by his uncle, where he gunned down five more people and then took aim at and killed his grandmother next door. Police say after that, he simply drove around, firing seemingly at random, killing three more. Josh Myers, himself a deputy with the Sheriff's Department, lost his wife and 18-month-old daughter in the massacre. His four-month-old was injured. I, I cried so much yesterday, I, I don't have a tear left in me. Uh, I, I, it, it still seems like I should be able to walk in the house and my wife should be there and uh, my baby girl should be in there climbing on me. Police have few answers. They say McClendon left no notes behind has no criminal record to speak of, even worked briefly for a local police department. All of that leaves residents here scratching their heads. That's, you don't expect that here. This is a small community. Uh, people are close-knit. If you don't know the people personally, you know some of their relatives. As of now, members of the community are banding together, helping shop owners cover up the bullet holes, but it will take more than just plywood to conceal all of them. Meantime, residents here have little else they can do but sit and ponder how this could happen here. Jason Bronis, The Associated Press, Geneva, Alabama.